I would suggest that we have to put ourselves into the audience's shoes. We have to really know the audience and prepare for them. Uh, the next thing is what we call KISS, which is to keep it short and simple. Very, very important to keep it short and simple. And then you should be able to add value the, to the audience. So what they receive is valuable for them. I think it's learnable. Uh, I like to talk about the 10-80-10 rule. I think 10% of people are born with a natural ability. I do recognize that. <coughs> Excuse me. And perhaps somebody is born and they are very good at music, uh, very good at mathematics. And um, obviously they can be fantastic communicators. I think there's the other extreme, which is there are 10% of the people are born without uh, something. So uh, yes, we must recognize that some people don't have uh, an ability in something. It's very interesting to see that very often the people with a natural ability in one thing are no good in other things. I believe in the 80%. The 80% of people can do far better and can learn so many things if they choose to go for the challenge. So, for example, if they want to be good communicators, they don't have to be born good communicators. They can improve what they can do naturally and with learning techniques become very, very good at uh, communicating in, in general, be it as a presentation or teaching or just talking as a leader to their team or whatever, far, far, far better than they were before if they challenge themselves to learn. I think there are many, many positives. Uh, I think the uh, openness of the Spanish people is, is a tremendous positive for communication. I think the uh, warmth, the, the human warmth of Spanish people is a very, very positive thing. The only negative, I think, is that uh, a lot of people today have been through a system where they said in the past that Spain is different. And I don't think it's Spain is different for negative. I think Spain is different for positive. And unfortunately, lots of people think it's negative, And I don't believe that. I think Spain is a fantastic country, lots and lots of possibilities. And um, I don't know if you know, but in the business world, lots and lots of multinational companies have Spanish people from different parts of Spain in the top teams. And lots of lots of very important companies, such as Nestle's or Nestle, Unfortunately, the man had an accident or died, right? But there were number, lots of companies have number twos that are from the Spanish world. And Spanish people make very, very good professionals, very, very good business people. Um, I don't know if you looked in terms of uh, the diplomatic world. We've had very, very important political leaders. Uh, Solana, Solano in negotiation. I know the people yesterday were doing a negotiation course. One of the top negotiators in the world, Solana. Um, there are some very top negotiators from Catalonia in the United Nations. And people don't stop to look. I think Spain is brilliant. Um, I believe that a good professional, a good manager, a good leader should have a toolbox. Uh, and I think you will have your technical expertise, you might be a lawyer, you may be a financial specialist, you may be an engineer. So you will have in your toolbox your f special tools from that speciality. However, I think it's impossible to do business without opening your mouth, and that's called communication. So you must have in that toolbox communication skills. Um, in Spanish, the word for business is negocio. And negocio is negociar. And so you cannot be a good business person if you don't know how to negotiate. So it's very good that the EOI are giving these courses. Yesterday, I believe, was negotiation. Today is communication. And that's what you need for a good leader, a good manager uh, in their toolbox. I believe it's a tremendous opportunity. Uh, I believe that things are changing so fast that people are being uh, uh, put upside down. And so it's very worrying for a lot of people when it could be a very, very beautiful opportunity. And uh, on the other hand, I, I, I always like to think that uh, when we had the telephone, it wasn't called tea business. When we had the beginnings of the internet, we had all these big things called e-commerce. Now that's disappeared. We don't talk about electronic. Um, I don't think it will be called digital commerce. It will be called commerce 
on digital platforms and so we will adapt to the platform and therefore it will be the number one platform and it will be fantastic opportunity but I don't think it will change the basic idea of doing business it will change the timings it will change uh, the, the, the opportunities the scope of the opportunities but the business person he or she will basically have to be the same as before but with more tools